So it's been a while since we've uh, spoken to you. Uh, right. So we'll take it back to earlier in the summer and you were obviously on the Lions tour. A great moment in your career, I'm sure, but unfortunately it uh, came to an abrupt end. Can you tell us a bit about what happened in terms of your, your injury at the time? Um, yeah, so playing in that Chiefs game and took a bit of a whack towards the end of it. Um, and had to come off and didn't think too much of it. It was a little bit headachy and a bit sore that week, but nothing too bad. And then uh, come the captain's run day, for the next game, I think it was the following Tuesday, sort of got home, got back on the bus and felt a bit travel sick and whatnot and pretty pretty yuck and ever since then haven't quite been right. So then obviously progressing into the pre-season with Ulster and the start of the season, can you tell us a bit about maybe how that affected your season or what sort of symptoms um, you were getting? Oh, it's been a bit stop-start, there's been times when it hasn't been too bad and other times when it's been um, pretty bad so we've, we've given it a few cracks with different things, trying different things to get it right and trying to get back but unfortunately nothing's cleared everything up just yet so We'll see how we go with a bit of rest here over the next month or so and go from there. You're not available for selection at the minute, but you've taken on a bit of a role within, a bit of a different role within the team. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I've been out for a while, so just it's where I can help the team really. So just helping out with the with the coaches a bit wherever they need me. I'm happy to help out wherever. So doing a bit of work at the moment on the defence side of things and just helping helping in and around the boys with different skills and that. The past couple of weeks since you've been involved then, obviously the Kings game and the Edinburgh game last weekend, two very different games from a defensive perspective. Uh, yeah. What were your thoughts on those? Oh yeah, it was, it was pretty different. I think one game we made about 90 tackles and the other one we made well over 200. So it was pretty different. Uh, the, I thought the boys worked pretty hard in uh, the Edinburgh game to be making that many tackles and keep your line intact for the majority of the game was, was pretty impressive from a work rate and desire point of view. So we had to show that. The Kings was... Was defensively, you didn't really get tested too much, so didn't have to do too much that week. But um, reviewing Edinburgh has been a big old, big old job, and so it's fair play to the boys and the way they dug in and, and fronted up in that sense. Looking ahead to this weekend, then obviously another difficult task going away to Scarlets. What are you expecting from that game, or what are some of the things you're, you've been focusing on? Yeah, look, they're a class team, aren't they? They've, um, they're not the champions for no reason. They play a pretty attractive brand of rugby. They'll move the ball around. They've got threats across the pitch. Um, We've got nice little strike plays that they use, second phase, so they're going to they're gonna test us everywhere. I think it's going to be a step up again from Edinburgh we're going to have to take. So we're going to get tested a lot in the wide channels, um, tested as well through the midfield, um, mid midfield rucks at times. So they're going to they're gonna really put us under the pump across the board, so it's going to be a good examination of where we're at.